uh, have to live in. The attack on the Environmental Protection Agency is the biggest cut of any agency in the federal government by our Republican friends over in the House. Seventy percent of the American people say the Environmental Protection Agency should do its job. Sixty-nine percent think EPA should update Clean Air Act standards with stricter air pollution limits. Sixty-eight percent believe Congress should not stop EPA from enforcing Clean Air Act standards. Sixty-nine percent believe that EPA scientists, not Congress, should set pollution standards. Look at this. Mr. President, in this tough time when the country is divided, Almost 70 percent of our people say, leave EPA alone. But, oh, no, our Republican friends whack that agency by one-third billions of dollars. And not only that, instruct that agency with riders telling them they can't enforce air pollution standards for soot. And we know what happens when you're exposed to soot. And we're looking at other exposures as well, small particulate matter, which gets in our lungs, is lodged in our lungs. They say we can't look at cement manufacturing and go after the mercury that comes out of those uh, firms. The mercury, arsenic. Do we, think it, do we think the American people want dirtier air? Is that what the election was about? I would challenge. I just came out of a, a tough election. And I have to tell you, not one person ever came up to me and said, please, I want more soot. I really need more smog. It's missing out of my life. <laughs> and, oh, my God, when my kid drinks water out of the tap, I want them to get contaminated. Forget it. That's not what the election was about. The election was about jobs, jobs, jobs. Okay, let's look at a child, a child that gets, pays the price when the air is dirty. Our children, their exposure to air pollution causes asthma attacks, lost days of school, emergency room visits, and for the older people, heart attacks, stroke, cancer, and premature death. According to the American Lung Association, we have another beautiful picture of a child there that I'd like to show. Asthma is one of the most common chronic disorders in children. It affects 7 million children. Here's another beautiful baby here. I'm showing you this as a grandma. And I, I'm going to take another two minutes and then turn it over to Senator Shaheen. Look at this picture. Look at this face. Look at those eyes. I want to say to our friends in the house, what are you doing? You are throwing women and children under the bus. You're throwing the middle class under the bus. And I, for one, I'm going to tell the truth. During my campaign, the press would always say, what are you going to do to win? Such a terrible year for Democrats. How are you going to win? I said, I have a secret plan. They said, what is it? Now, I'm going to tell the truth. You know, I'm going to just lay it out there. Look, the truth is the EPA released a new report. It was asked for by Congress. They, Congress demanded to know the benefit of clean air law. You know what it did? They said in 2010 alone, 160,000 cases of premature deaths were avoided. Can you believe it? And they want to turn all of this back. The American Lung Association says H.R. 1 is toxic to the public health. Toxic to the public health. And they say it would result in millions of Americans, uh, including kids and seniors and people with chronic diseases such as asthma, being forced to breathe air that's unhealthy. And it can cause asthma attacks, heart attacks, strokes, cancer, and shortened lives. So I'm just going to say this to my Republican friends. You know who signed the Clean Air Act? A Republican president. A Republican president. You know who set up the EPA? A Republican president, Richard Nixon. What are you doing over there? I already said George W. George Herbert W. Bush, Walker Bush, <laughs> was on the board of Planned Parenthood. Richard Nixon signed the Clean Air Act. So they don't seem to either have a sense of history or they have moved so far away 
from some of the proud traditions of their party that they have lost total touch. So in closing, let me say this. We're going to have to stop this war against women. We're going to have to stop this war against children. We're going to have to stop this war against the environment. We're going to come forward with deficit reduction that will equal what they do, but we will do it in a way that doesn't hurt job creation and that doesn't hurt our kids, our families, and the environment we all depend upon. And with that is my honor to yield to Senator Shaheen for five minutes. Thank you very much, Senator Boxer. Senator, Senator from New Hampshire.